good morning viewers listener as there is another day a glorious day god has made to bless you to promote you to increase you and turn your sorrow to joy your money to happiness this morning the very fourth day of september the very fourth day of september 2022 today we'll be looking at a topic titled prophecies about christ beds mark kai chapter 5 verse 2 But thou Bethlehem, Ephratite, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. prophecy about Christ's birth. Take a number of prophecies with regards to Christ's birth. First of all, we are told something with regard to the time of his appearance. In Mark 3.1, the prophet says, Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me and the lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in behold he shall come said the lord of hosts that is very significant furthermore you remember that in mark chapter 2 we are given an exact prophecy with regard to the place of his birth that it was to be in bethlehem but thou bethlehem ephetrai though thou lead you among the thousands of judea yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in israel who's going forth have been from of old from everlasting we are told that he was to be of the tribe of judah and of the house of david in jeremiah 23:5 to 6 behold the day comes said the lord that i will rise unto him david a righteous branch and a king shall reign and prosper and I shall execute judgment and justice in the earth in his days. Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, where he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Then in Isaiah 7 14, we are told that he is to be born of a virgin. The prophet is promising a sign. And a sign is obviously something unusual. If a virgin has a child, it is unusual. And it is a sign. We are specifically told in Matthew 1, 22, 23 that this verse in Isaiah was indeed a prophecy that our Lord will be born of a virgin. A thought to ponder. We are given an exact prophecy with regard to to the place of his bed. This is to tell us that God, once he says, he do what he says, he make it to pass, he make it to come to pass, he make it to become reality. May the promises of the Lord this morning be fulfilled in our lives. Every spirit that does not give glory to God in our life, making us to be in a place 
that is not good every power working against us because the prophecy has been fulfilled in Christ Jesus because the Lord whom was promised to us by God fulfill his word may he begin to fulfill every promises in your life may things begin to work perfectly in your life may he take away agony pain sorrow tears from you may he take away shame pain from your life may god promote you may he bless you may he turn your situation around may he bring laughter absolute laughter to you in the name of jesus it is well with you in jesus name i pray amen i remain joshua satoame please don't forget to join me tomorrow to listen to another exhortation like this